The Syrian government has reacted angrily to last week's decisions by the European Union and the United States to extend their unilateral sanctions and blockade against Syria. Many in Syria say it will not weaken their determination to confront armed extremism. Hazem Abdullah now reports. Damascus has strongly condemned the decision by EU Council to renew its sanction on Syria for another year. An official at Syrian Foreign Ministry stressed that the unjust decision would damage the living condition and health of ordinary Syrian citizens. We have the skills here to be able to overcome this ordeal and the expertise to find solutions. But the West, which claims to defend humanity, should recognize that these arbitrary decisions target humanity, so the rest is lying when it claims to respect people's rights. Western countries are not aware of what sanctions do to the Syrian people, and at the same time they supply the extremists by all sorts of means. Is it possible they do not know that all this will backfire on them? The West needs to wake up and think of a better way. Just look at the massacre that occurred at the newspaper Charlie Hebdo. In spite of all the pressure, the Syrian government is trying hard to maintain essential supplies and health care services across the country. With campaigns to protect citizens' basic living conditions. Unfortunately, the European Union, led by the French and the British, think in a colonial way. This decision will not affect the Syrian people. They have the capabilities and the resources to protect themselves. In spite of the all difficult circumstances and blocked and armed aggression, the Syrians stressed send a prime message to hold world that humanity's oldest civilization is resisting and will soon be back on its feet. Hazm Abdullah, Telesur, Damascus.